everyone, welcome to another Instagram roundup, fashion over 40 if you will. I know a lot of bloggers do this, I've done one, and it seemed like I got pretty good feedback, so I'm gonna try it again. So basically what I'm doing here is, not all of you follow me on Instagram, and that's fine. I'm not asking you to jump over and add another thing for you to keep track of on your phone. So for those of you that aren't, I do post a lot of more impromptu outfits of the day, outfit type things, things like that on there. So I thought what would be fun is instead of doing it as a blog post, do it as a video and walk you through my Instagram feed, kind of the latest outfits that I've posted since the last time we tried this. So little different than me like modeling the clothes, which I will continue to do, but it's kind of more fun for me personally to try it this way because I can talk you through it while I'm looking at the phone, tell you how it fit, tell you what I thought of the outfit, how it wore, things like that but I will continue to also film videos where I'm actually wearing it and spinning around so you can see it in motion on my body. And also a lot of the times you'll have seen this sort of live in my vlogs as well, but I don't always get, don't get a full length shot in a vlog. So this is a way to sort of put it all together. So I'm gonna go through here and um, talk you through it. So I'm gonna start with what I have on because this was just posted and um, it could not be a more comfortable outfit for the 100 degree weather that we are currently experiencing in San Antonio. So I am wearing like the loose, I think they call it a swing tank or swing tank top maybe or cami. Um, you saw this in my latest Nordstrom video, the summer occasions outfits. And what I love about this is it's very drapey and loose and it's not clingy and that's the last thing I wanna be wearing um, in the hot weather. This is a great layering piece. I wear this a lot. Underneath, there are two options as to what I like to wear under this. Um, one option are, I found them um, on Amazon and I think now Nordstrom carries them as well, which is kind of exciting. And they're called nippies. Maybe they should think about rebranding, but they're silicone stick on bra, nipple covers basically. Um, and if you're, you know, don't need the support as much, you wanna go foot loose and fancy free, that's one option. The other option that I have also worn underneath this for a little more support is my Notori um, strapless bra. And then on the bottom, these exact pants are no longer available, but I'm going to um, link very similar ones because it's just the concept more than the brand that I like. Um, these are from Loft and they're skinny, kind of lightweight denim camo print. I think camo is like the perfect neutral and they're very comfortable, but they're very lightweight, so, um, you know, you can wear them in the heat. And again, I'm not like wandering around in the heat, but I go from my house to the car, from the car to wherever building I'm walking into. So I don't get overheated, but then I do have that coverage in the air conditioned, over air conditioned places that I go to. And then of course my shoe favorites, an open toed booty, slip on booty from Vince Camuto. I just love them. They're just the perfect neutral. They go with everything that I wear. And then as far as accessories, loving these new um, pinata kind of glass bead earrings from Bobble Bar. These were gifted to me. And then I'm wearing just my simple black and gold Elisa necklace from Kendra Scott. So that is outfit number one. And I do wanna say that what I love um, about this is like I said, you can layer. I can throw on my linen blazer. I could throw on my denim jacket if it's gonna be really cold out. I actually just went to Nordstrom to um, have lunch with a friend and we were trying on some cardigans by the brand Bobo, B-O-B-E-A-U, I'm gonna list that as well. They were the most comfortable, thin, like almost like the same material. Like they feel like you're wearing just like, like the softest silk, but they're more of like a modal fabric. And I tried them on just to get a sense of what my size is. And even though I wear an extra small in most things, I'm wearing a small on this top. I would recommend a, um, like if you're in between sizes, go up one. So I got the, I'm gonna get the small, I didn't get it yet, but it's on my list. The small and the Bobo cardigan. And I couldn't tell you what size my pants are, but let's move on to outfit number two. So my next outfit is the blue dress that I got in the half yearly sale from Nordstrom. I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's really the color of the dress that I just, spoke to me. I would say size down one. This runs huge. There's a lot of fabric, but it's paper thin. It's super comfortable. I love the drop waist and the flounce. It just, we wore it, we wore it. I wore it to a business dress dinner on that level of formality um, to a dinner we had to go to in Austin for um, an alumni thing for Michael's Law School. And I paired those with my favorite, favorite 
dress shoes. The Sam Edelman Yarrow sandal. It's like a black heel. I'm wearing it in nude suede. I think this is a year-round thing that you can wear. Um, I usually would wear this dress with my big Rosalita, lots of tassel earrings, but I wanted to tone it down a little bit for this event, so I'm wearing like the mosaic kind of blue stone hoops from Bobble Bar. And um, again, as far as what bra to wear underneath it, because it has the cutout shoulders and then it has this tie right in the middle here. If you tie the tie really tightly, you, it doesn't open. So you can just wear a normal bra underneath. But again, if support's not your thing, like you don't need it, the nippies are like my favorite things for the summer. I'm really digging that. And I steamed it, I didn't iron it, I hate ironing, but I love steaming. And I steamed it with my steamer and it, set, it held up in the hour plus right there and back. It held up nicely. So it doesn't really wrinkle, to, you know, once you steam it, it held up. So probably a good dress to travel with. Okay, outfit number three, um, Jake took this picture. I have not trained Jake in the art of taking an Instagram picture, but who am I kidding? I'm like. I can't take, like, this is not my deal. I'm not, clearly not a model. So here I am, like, just chilling in a big old chair. And um, this was taken in Oxford, Mississippi. Jake and I were visiting the former home of William Faulkner, the um, Southern author. And I am so in love with this outfit. In fact, I've worn it, I think I wore it three times that week. I did wash it twice in between. Um, so the top is a new top, again, from that my latest Nordstrom video. It's by the brand Chelsea 28. It comes in this really cute um, baby blue. It also comes in a very bright bubblegum pink, which is not my thing. Um, it comes in like a plum shade and also black. I really like the black one. I love the material on this because I've seen a ton of t-shirts out there with the you know, kind of loose fitting sleeves and then the flounce along the hem in more of the traditional cotton t-shirty kind of stuff. This kicks it up a notch. Again, it's more of that um, rayon-y, slippy fabric and so it's it's not like it's a formal shirt, but it's just a little more up there than just a basic bumming around t-shirt. And I paired it with my white um, jeans from Articles of Society, again, from a Nordstrom video that I did, I think back in April. I love those. And I um, have seen them just today in the store in other colors. I'm definitely gonna be ordering more of them. What I like about these jeans is that they're distressed, so it makes it a little edgier and more casual, but I like that the holes are from the knee down so that you don't get some weird holes in inappropriate places. And then for shoes, I am wearing um, my favorite flip-flops. The only flip-flops I actually own right now, and they're by Tori. Birch and they have the Miller sandals. They come in a gajillion colors. That's the official term. But I love the metallic. It just seems to be the ultimate neutral. It kind of kicks things up a notch. And um, my key sunglasses that I'm still loving. I still, I love them. I think they're called the About Last Night model. And then um, t-shirt bra, the Notori t-shirt bra, which is now my ultimate favorite bra, period. If I could wear it every day, I would. I basically need to get more. Um, and again, just, I, these were thrown in a suitcase and traveled really nicely. You may or might not know, we have a now nine month old, what is he? Yep, nine month old Weimaraner puppy, and we do obedience training with him every week. That would be me doing the training, Michael taking pictures. And so I don't really want to wear shorts, or, you know, I like to have my legs covered in general, but especially when I'm working with the dogs, they jump, or, you know, you're sitting on the ground sometimes, so it's nice to have you know, pants on. So these, I can't remember exactly the name or the model, but these are from Lou and Gray. I think they're poplin and they, you know, you roll up the cuffs and they come in other colors. They have kind of like a tie. They do fasten with like a slider and a button, but they also have a tie, like almost like a drawstring at the top. They're super comfortable, really casual, really easy to wear in the summer. It's like, do you all remember parachute pants? They kind of feel like parachute pants. I can't remember exactly what size I'm wearing. I'll list that in the description box. Paired it with my favorite summer type sneakers. They're the Sperry Seaside slip-on sneakers and they have the perforated like suede top. So I don't even wear socks with them anymore. They gave me blisters the first time I wore them and they were a little uncomfortable the second time I wore them and now they just feel like I'm wearing slippers. So you gotta break them in once or twice and then you are good to go. Um, again, the top is from BP. It's like a cousin to this one. It just has wider straps and maybe a slightly higher neckline. And it's, again, it's a little thicker material as well than this, but it's that Jersey modal type fabric and um, simple bra under there and you are good to go. As far as earrings, I'm wearing um, a pair of my nickel and suede. I love them. Every time I wear them, I get someone stops me and asks me, where did I get those earrings? They're leather, they come in a ton of colors, but I really like the metallic ones. There's something very unique about those. I love this dress. I hope this outfit is still available. Um, this is the dress, the dress from Loft with the embroidered 
flowers on the top. I just love that color combination. What's absolutely ridiculous about this outfit is that Bobble Bar sent me those earrings. Those are called the Rosalita earrings with the blue and turquoise like embroidery floss tassels. And then I saw this dressed at loft, dress at loft, and I said, oh my gosh, this matches perfectly. It is the ultimate comfy summer outfit. I dressed it up. I paired it with some espadrilles from Toy Birch and stepped up a notch and pulled out um, my Louis Vuitton Speedy. Um, Gave it a little love, wrapped a little scarf from Banana Republic around the handle. I don't know how to do it. I followed a YouTube video. I will link the video I watched on how to wrap your scarf around it. It takes a little practice. I didn't nail it, but whatever. Um, I wore that to an outdoor graduation party, so I wanted to be comfortable, but I wanted to be a little dressier than just like, you know, just basic casual wear. But I also took this outfit with me when I went to visit Jake um, at Ole Miss, and instead of wearing the espadrilles, I just wore my Tory Burch. Um, Miller flip-flops and I had like a little cardigan, my Barefoot Dreams cardigan that I threw over it when we went inside places that were really air conditioned. And again, there are those key sunglasses. I love them. A couple of people have asked me, do you need a slip? What do you wear underneath it? I'm just wearing again, my Notori t-shirt bra. And if you're a certain generations, like my mother's generation would have been like, oh my gosh, you have to wear a slip. If you're standing in direct sunlight with your legs apart, you can see the outlines of your legs. You can't see your underwear and things like that. It's not see-through. But if there's a light shining through it, yes, you can see the outlines of your legs. Mimi makes a rear appearance on Instagram. Again, yes, I'm wearing jeans in the summer. I feel like as long as one half of my body it doesn't have too much fabric on it, I can um, wear jeans, again, with the Vince Camuto booties. And then the um, tank I got in the half yearly sale as well. I just like that it's a little different. It's a really nice drapey fit. You can just wear a normal bra. It doesn't go too low in the armholes that you need to wear something underneath it. But it has this really cool like extra cutout right along the neckline that just gives it a little extra and takes it from a basic cotton like sleeveless t-shirt to something a little more fun. I just like the little detail like that. And the price point is excellent. How many times am I wearing these Tory Burch Miller flip-flops a lot. What can I tell you? They're really comfortable and they hold up really nicely. I put a lot of miles on those shoes. Um, as far as the rest of the outfit, this shirt is a brand that's new to me. Um, I picked it up actually in Oxford, Mississippi, and it's the brand Dylan by True Grit. A lot of people have heard of the brand True Grit. Dylan is the sister brand that is for women. You can't really see the details of this shirt so well, so I will pop in a picture of just the shirt from the website so you can see. I just It's very bohemian and loose fitting and kind of gauzy and I like the little white on white embroidery and the tassels along the bottom are so on trend and they're just really fun. I do wear one of those um, Fruit of the Loom sports bra kind of camisoles underneath it just so that, you know, there's some coverage there. Um, the earrings, I, I don't know, oh, I'm not sure those are still available. I think in different colors they're still available from Bobble Bar, they're kind of an older pair. And again, another pair of cut from the cloth jeans. What can I tell you? I found a, a brand that fits me, that's consistent in its sizing, um, and it's a great price point. I totally forgot to talk about one outfit, so it's another day. I'm in a new outfit, but the same makeup. So I popped back on real quickly to talk about this one. So every once in a while I actually have to change out of jeans or something and get a little more business oriented. So Michael and I had a personal business meeting, nothing to do with YouTube or anything, just our own stuff. And we were meeting in an office and then going to lunch. And so I, you know, I'm not in a formal career, so I didn't have to wear like a business suit, but I wanted to be a little more professional than I usually am, but I still wanted to be comfortable. And I needed to dress for both the extreme heat, it's over 100 degrees with the heat index now, and the fact that when you go inside any office building, you can hang meat in there. So this look um, is one of my favorites, and um, the tote bag in different colors is actually um, in a summer sale going on. I'll put that link below at the top of the description box from GG New York, but anyway, I am wearing a loft, um, kind of fluttery top. You've seen it before. It's actually on major sale, like final sale as well. And then I've tucked that into my favorite linen pants. These are by the brand Caslon, which is a Nordstrom house brand. And they're linen. They run long. I'm 5'4", so I did get the petite, so I can wear them without having to wear four inch heels. I can actually still wear these with flats or heels. Um, I love this particular color. They come in other options, but they, I like the contrast of the navy tie and the navy piping on the pockets. It's a, it's a heavier weight um, 
linen. So all linen wrinkles, but these don't, these last through the day. I did the classic blogger pose. I just had to laugh at myself. I threw on my Kesslon linen jacket over my shoulders. It's white. They have it in an olive green, which I really want to pick up. They have it in more of a chambray color as well. It's just a great lightweight layering piece. And you know, we're still in the middle of summer. So it's definitely a piece I highly recommend picking up. It's very versatile and has nice deep pockets so you can you know, it's functional as well. This is what I brought with me when I traveled by plane and plan on bringing it with me when I travel uh, next month as well. And then, like I mentioned, paired it with my Charlotte tote from Gigi New York. It's just a great bag with a big exterior pocket. You can fit your phone, keys, and sunglasses in that big outside pocket. I love it. And then some more nickel and suede earrings. I'm loving those big silver ones. They are very reflective. So that is my little Instagram roundup for you. I hope you enjoy this concept. For me, it's a lot of fun. I like going back and looking through the month. I'm just still scrolling and looking to see what I got up to. You know, all of these pictures are taken from moments that are happening in real life. So for me, it's almost like my own little video scrapbook here. But as always, these videos are for you more than they are for me. So please let me know in the comments what you think of this. I'm always open for some constructive criticism or input. If there's a way for me to tweak this to make this more enjoyable for you, please, or if you'd rather I just leave this in a blog post and not do this video at all, I'm open for that as well. But um, thank you for choosing to spend some time with me today and uh, looking forward to sharing my favorites with you in Friday's video. So be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.